Hey everyone, Duke here, and today I'm going to show you the absolute fastest way to level your weapons for crafting. Now what I'm going to show is probably known by a lot of people out there, but I get, still get this question almost daily on how you should level weapons and how do you level weapons faster, etc, etc, and a lot of people give different answers. This is the only answer. Like, there is no, nothing else that is going to be nearly as fast as Shiro Chi is, and it's just not close. It's really not close. Again, there's other options. I'm not saying that you can't use other options, but this is the answer if you want to go as fast as possible. Run Shirochi, bring a single shot Tether Hunter, and I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to show you why in this video. First, you're going to need to load into Last Wish, as I've already done, and you're going to need to make your way to the Wish Wall and put in the Shirochi Teleport Wish. This is probably going to be the most annoying part, but it takes a couple minutes, and especially if you're going to be leveling a weapon from 1 to maybe 20, maybe multiple weapons, maybe multiple red boxes for the Doritos that you need to get your perks, it's very worth doing. Again, take no, no more than a couple minutes, and from there you are smooth sailing. So once you're at the Shirochi checkpoint, again, we have our 0% pattern weapon here. We are going to be on Tether, the single shot Tether with Deadfall. doesn't hurt to also potentially have Orpheus rigs. If you get the enough kills in the proper Tether position, you might be able to get two Tethers off in one round. You could potentially even go High Intellect for this, because obviously you don't really care too much about your other stats, just to have a higher chance to get multiple Tethers and more kills. But basically, you're just going to start it up. Kind of bait some of the adds a little bit more to the center here, just so that all these adds will come into the tether, and the next spawn of adds will also come into tether. And you're going to get basically this kill stuff. And the uh, the tether chaining will kill a bunch of things, and again, this next set of adds will come in. Kind of try to bait them forward a bit so that you can get more into the tether, kill more stuff, and again, all the tether chaining will kill a bunch of the adds and you're going to get a lot of percentage. As you can see here, we are already at 72% on the kills in about a couple seconds, really. You can just kind of continue to kill stuff from here. And there you go, we got an entire red box complete in less than one full round of Shirochi. Again, I do have my second tether, so if you were doing a different weapon, you could, or if you still needed more percentage, you could kill all these guys with the second tether, get all that chain kill going, and you have well over 100% in just one round. We even got another set of adds coming in here still. That tether is in a perfect position for them as well. So you're going to be able to chain kill all these adds as well. Easily able to get way over an entire red box done in one wave of Shirochi. Now where this strategy is really going to help and come into play significantly is if you're doing any sorts of heavy weapons, especially single target heavy weapons like linear fusion rifles. If you guys are trying to craft the new type in linear fusion rifle, really, really good option, or maybe cataclysmic still crafting from the Vow of the Disciple raid. This is going to be an insanely good strategy. As you can see here, we're starting off at 6%. I've already got it crafted to the point where I have the rolls I want, but you know maybe yours is lower. We're starting at 6% of the level. We can put a raid flag down, make sure we have ammo, and we're going to do the exact same strategy. We're going to run in a bit, try to get a tether a little bit further in, hopefully get all these adds to kind of bait up towards me, and then throw it a little bit deeper to here just so that the next set of adds that comes in behind us at this point will hopefully get caught by this tether as well. And again, super easy. We're just hitting a couple shots here, getting a lot of the chain damage to come in. Got all those first set of adds down. The tether should stay in right on this second wave of adds as well for a while. And we're just going to kill as much as you can while the tether's still up. Makes it a little bit easier. Again, even without the tether, you're still able to get kills, but the chain damage is super nice. And we still have some adds up, but let's see. We started again at 6%, and this was about, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds. We're already at 53%. That's half a level, just under half a level in a few, basically a few seconds. If you want it, and if you don't really care about raid flags, you could even just wipe here and restart and probably get it going a little bit faster just so you'd have your tether immediately. What you can also do is maybe run a second weapon that needs to be leveled a bit, just because you'll probably run out of heavy trying to use nothing but heavy here. Just trying to build up your second super on this part, because you can potentially get a second super with enough intellect. Like I said earlier, if you do run 100 intellect, might even be a little bit more helpful. But we're, uh, we got a grenade launcher on that is also kind of needing to be leveled, waiting to try to get the last little bit of our super so that we can tether one more time. 
Get that chain damage going again. Get these last few kills, get all those guys dead. You can, and again, if you're running scabs and finders like I am, you'll probably get more heavy here too. Put in a few more shots into these chain damaged thralls. Easily taking them all down. And at the end of the wave, we can actually hit the shot there. We, again, we started at 6%, and we got to 80%. So that's about 75% from one wave, or one round of doing Shiro Chi. Again, you can get about 50% just from the one tether and then start right away. It'd probably be a little bit faster. It would just take a few more legendary shards. I didn't mention it in the main part of the video, but this is also insanely good for catalysts. But I hope this video helped answer your question of how to level your weapons quickly. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.